the beginning of a day in the city of Trieste. No particular day, just any day. All around by the city is still sleeping. The police, riding on their routine rounds, find nothing to report. All is quiet this morning along the boundary which divides the free territory of Trieste into two parts. One administered by the British and Americans, the other by the Yugoslavs. Once shots were fired here, and this seemed the thin borderline between peace and war. For Trieste, at the mouth of the Adriatic, lies between Italy and Yugoslavia, between Eastern and Western Europe. Now the early hours of any day bring only farm women on their peaceable errands to the markets of the city. transshipment point for the materials America is sending to Central Europe. It is hopeful of regaining something of the position it held in the old days when goods from all over the world were funneled through its harbor. understood what it meant just the same to Trieste and to Europe.
goods continuing to flow through Trieste, millions of people who are dependent on imports and importing for their very living have been saved from catastrophe. Across the bay from the busy docks lies Trieste's great Aquila oil refinery, the most modern anywhere around this part of the Mediterranean. Now they're enlarging it and improving it with Marshall Plan funds bringing in American machinery and American technicians to help Trieste engineers increase its rate of production and its capacity. Soon it will be turning out more fuel and better fuel to keep the wheels of Europe moving. In the shipyards where so many of the men of Trieste work for a living, the city's new merchant fleet is still growing. The ships of the fleet may be new, but the traditions will be old and proud, for Trieste has long been a seafaring city. Launching of a new ship is always a big event. Thousands of people come to look on in pride, partly perhaps because every time a vessel takes to the water, it's a kind of assurance to them that Trieste is going to be all right. Another ship is launched, but there are more on the ways and work must go on to the day's end. entirely well, things are better, the people know. And for tomorrow? For tomorrow there is hard work and there is hope.